How to tell when you've purchased a fake SM57. First, let's start with the capsule. The labels, when they wrap around, you can see the one on the left is a little sloppy, as is the one on the right. They're not perfect fits. So that's not one way to tell. But here's one. Here's the real one. It spins around completely. This does not. So you turn this, the entire capsule spins and will break a wire. So let's look at the bottom. As you can see, not much of a difference. The one on the left, being the real one, has some sort of plastic or rubber ring and the the corners are rounded, whereas this one is not. It's more of a straight cut that was not polished to be round. And if you look at the screws, you'll see that they are pretty much identical. All right, so now let's open them up. Here's the real one. Now let's take a look at the transformer. As you can see, it's it's caked in there with some glue. Now if you look at the fake one, there's a big glop of glue and the, other, the second wire just broke. But if you pull this out, now this is the funniest part. All this is, is a piece of plastic with a goop of glue. It's completely there for cosmetic effect. And these wires just run down and connect to the pins. So why don't we uh, open this up and take a look and see what's in here. All right, so this is the real one. You can see this capsule is, it's much different construction than what's in here. And there you go. That's what's in there. Some cheap plastic diaphragm karaoke mic. This is why you can't spin this around. And that is what a fake SM57 looks like. Now I don't feel like taking this apart, but as you can see, the construction is much, much different. So there you go. To recap, the easiest ways you can tell you have an, a fake SM57 is the top on spin, and you'll find this fake plastic uh, transformer that does absolutely nothing sitting inside. And there you go. That's uh, a real SM57 versus a fake.